Hi everybody, I'm Fallout. Sub to my channel, click notification bell, follow on Twitch, Twitter, be sure to like, comment, and share, join my Discord to become part of the community, and check out my merch store. Alrighty, got the boring stuff out of the way. Let's talk shotguns. As many of you know, and proceeded to tag me multiple times on Twitter, Reddit, and Discord, Bungie, God bless them, decided they were gonna pull a really cute move out of left field and nerf full choke. The shotgun barrel option that I have been hardcore recommending to everyone since year one of D2 after finding out how incredibly effective it is. Ever since the patch went live, me and a few other people crazy enough to do this kind of stuff have been testing exactly how much full choke was adjusted, and more importantly, to answer these questions which are bound to come up repeatedly in the near future. Is full choke worth using? Is full choke still the best barrel? If it isn't full choke, what is it? What are the best spread shotguns in PvP right now? Alrighty, in my original shotgun testing video, I brought up something that I found was necessary to repeat, and now I'm bringing it back. The golden rule of shotguns. Shotguns are inconsistent. Until Bungie decides to pull a page out of the Gears of War playbook and make all pellet spread shotguns a predetermined pattern that never changes, this rule will always be true. Shotguns in Destiny are inconsistent by nature. This is one reason why they're a huge pain in the ass to work with, and why between different content creators in the community there are often discrepancies in information. Warning, I repeat this a lot in the video, but remember it well. The golden rule of shotguns will likely never change. The reason it's so important to remember that golden rule right now is because the first thing that happens when changes like this come up is that people go into private matches and start shooting their shotguns against walls or people to try and figure things out. Not that you shouldn't be doing that, hell, it's what I do, but because shotguns are inconsistent, it may lead you to wrong or questionable conclusions. Let me give you an example. Lately, I've been hearing a lot of people mentioning that precision frame shotguns are are naturally more accurate than aggressive frame shotguns. While I think that is technically correct, I don't believe it's for the reason that people think. I think the more range you have on your shotgun, the more of a slightly natural pellet spread begins to form. Take a look at this graphic. I know, I spent top dollar having this made. It's a crude visualization of what I mean. The more range you have, the tighter your weapon's pellet radius may become. This would explain the suggested better accuracy of the precision frame shotgun. Take a look at every aggressive frame shotgun you got in your vault. They all probably have really, really high impact and relatively low range. Compare that with one of the two undisputed kings of the precision frame archetype, the Dust Rock Blues. My best Dust Rock comes with a whopping 96 range. Now, check this out. Comparing the pellet spread of my Dust Rock with a low range aggressive frame shotgun, the deadpan delivery, which I intentionally turned the range down on in order to get it as low as I could for demonstration purposes. Okay, before you start taking this as gospel, remember the golden rule. What if this isn't a confirmed fact? What if during this test of mine, I just had an insanely lucky pellet spread with my dust rock and a wide and unlucky pellet spread with my deadpan? It is possible that that's what happened. The best we can hope for is consistency, so I did it a few more times. Sometimes the results were relatively the same to what you just saw, very visually noticeable, naturally tighter pellet spread for high range. Other times the results were still a about the same, but it was a little harder to tell. Remember, shotguns are inconsistent, but I'm relatively confident that that's what's going on here. Similar spread patterns have been noted by Mercules. This image was taken from his recent updated shotgun post on Reddit. We've been talking a lot about all this uh, full chokery, let's say. Shotguns are fun. I use that word lightly. Anyway, moving on. Let's get to the question that I'm sure a lot of people have. Is full choke still good? In my opinion, yes. One of the the biggest keys to getting a long range shotgun kill is to hit with as many pellets as you can. The more pellets you can hit with, the better your odds are of getting that deep range kill. Even if the spread was slightly widened like Bungie mentioned, more often than not, full choke is still going to have a tighter spread than any other barrel option, which makes it a good pick because your odds at hitting more pellets is slightly higher. Is it still possible to have full choke and miss some of your pellets? 
Yes, is it possible to pull the trigger at the same range with a different barrel and have more pellets land than your previous shot with full choke? Also, yes, because again, every time you pull the trigger on your shotgun, you're essentially rolling the dice. Your odds at a lethal pellet spread goes up when using full choke, but it's still a chance because pellet spreads are random by design. After spending several hours the other day shooting friends with various shotguns at different ranges with different barrels, I'm confident in saying that full choke is still good. Really the only difference between my barrel recommendations now and my recommendations in year one is that now I'm recommending two, full choke and rifled barrel. Only those two. Uh, Fallout, what about uh, insert barrel here? Nope, full choke. Rifled barrel. As I mentioned, full choke's tighter spread makes it more likely that you'll get a lethal spread where more pellets connect up to your shotgun's damage drop off point, including the golden range of 9 meters. Rifled barrel, on the other hand, gives your shotgun more range than any other barrel without hurting the pellet spread the way that smoothbore does. Because rifled barrel gives you that extra range, the damage drop off point goes back slightly, and your chances of getting the lucky, very deep one hit kill goes up by a fraction. It still all depends if you get a lucky pellet spread when you fire the gun. You also get precision damage with rifled barrel that you don't get with full choke. Up close though, that hardly makes a difference at all, because precision damage on shotguns is extremely minor, giving an extra plus two or so damage per crit pellet depending on the impact of the gun. When you're very far away though, and up against a super steep damage drop off point, that tiny extra damage could mean the difference between your enemy living by a hair or outright dying. On that note, I wanna introduce a new test that you can do to answer the question, is my role Good. Introducing the 9 meter test, aka that thing you've seen me do on stream about a hundred times. For the most part, the best spread shotguns in the game, which for the record are Toil and Trouble, The Mindbender, Retold Tale, and The Dust Rock Blues, can, with a good roll, kill fairly frequently from 9 meters away. In my opinion, if your shotgun can't do that, you need a better shotgun. If your goal is to get one hit kills, that is. Grab a friend and go into a private match together. Together. Make sure that your friend is at four resilience, and that's what both Mercules and I have been testing shots at for the sake of consistency, and stand nine meters away from your friend. Measure that range with a Darcy sniper rifle, by the way, not the power ammo box, and then try to kill them in one shot with your shotgun. Try it a few times. Definitely don't only try it one time. If, more often than not, you're getting a kill, congrats, you got a fine weapon there. If yours can't get the job done frequently, or definitely not even once, keep looking for a better drop. And get ready, for those of you out there who are asking me on Twitter, hey, what do you think of this role? I may just reply to some of you, does it pass the 9 meter test? But yeah, let's go down the checklist. High impact, as much range as you can possibly get, and either full choke or rifled barrel. That is what you are looking for. Full choke, I would say, is more consistent at realistic ranges, but rifled barrel can also get the job done, especially if, for whatever reason, you're trying to get a lucky kill past to the very edge of the damage drop-off point. Oh, and remember that picture I showed you earlier, the one where the shotgun with way more range had a naturally tighter pellet spread? I'm thinking that in the event your Dust Rock Blues or Retold Tail has such an absurdly high range, like literally maximum range, you may not even need full choke then, because it seems that with the extra range, and I'm sure the bullet magnetism that probably comes with it, it would likely be enough to be its own little bootleg full choke. It's very possible that aggressive frame shotguns benefit way more from full choke due to their naturally low range, and precision frame shotguns that already have very high range, and I mean very high range, like a god roll dust rock or a god roll retold tail, may not need full choke after a certain point. Don't quote me on that though, I'm still working on that little theory. It's really hard to draw conclusions on things when RNG is involved. More testing I think right now is definitely required, but don't worry, as soon as I know more, or anyone knows more, I'm sure we will all fill you in. In the meantime, kinda hoping right now that you know what to look for on shotguns and you can grab your best shotgun shotgun and conduct your own 9 meter test. Always remember that RNG is very much a thing and find the spread shotgun that you feel best about. Or you could just roll with the chaperone. Thanks for watching, see you next time.